the case of Carla Hamalka. Carla Hamalka was born on May 4, 1970, in Port Credit, Ontario, Canada. She met her future husband, Paul Bernardo, in the late 1980s. Hamalka and Bernardo engaged in a relationship that quickly turned toxic and violent. Together, they became known as the Ken and Barbie killers due to their seemingly ordinary appearances. Between 1990 and 1992, Hamalka and Bernardo committed a series of horrific crimes. They kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and murdered two teenage girls, Leslie Mahaffey, who was 14 years old, and Kristen French, who was 15. The details of the crimes were extremely brutal and included acts of torture and violence. During the trial, it was revealed that Carla Hamalka was an active participant in the crimes. She was not only present during the assaults, but also played an active role in capturing and drugging the victims. Hamalka's involvement in the crime shocked the public, as she appeared complicit and willing to engage in the abuse. In a disturbing twist, it was discovered that Hamalka had videotaped the sexual assaults committed by her and Bernardo. These tapes were later used as evidence during the trial. The recordings depicted Hamalka actively participating in the abuse and celebrating the crimes with Bernardo. In 1993, Carla Hamalka struck a controversial plea deal with the prosecution. She agreed to testify against Paul Bernardo in exchange for a reduced sentence. Hamalka pleaded guilty to manslaughter charges for her involvement in the deaths of Mahaffey and French. She was sentenced to 12 years in prison, later reduced to 10 years due to the plea deal. The plea deal and Hamalka's relatively short sentence sparked outrage and controversy in Canada. Many believe that her involvement in the crimes warranted a harsher punishment. Hamalka was released from prison in 2005 after serving her full sentence. The case of Carla Hamalka and Paul Bernardo remains one of the most infamous criminal cases in Canadian history. It serves as a chilling reminder of the potential for evil within individuals and the importance of justice in the face of such heinous crimes. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by the Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content just like this.